And now that terror we all feel going to the hospital where 100,000 people die with hospital transmitted infections every year. But a new study shows it doesn't have to happen. But how? Dr. Richard Besser is here. Rich. Uh, Diane, two new studies in today's New England Journal of Medicine demonstrated that simple measures could dramatically reduce the number of hospital acquired infections, a problem that costs billions of dollars and is growing across the country. Once again, a hospital that was supposed to cure a patient got him sick instead. The pain is like somebody hit me in my stomach with a bat. Shortly after his shoulder surgery, Marcus Glover was rushed back to the hospital. He had acquired a little known but highly infectious hospital superbug called C. difficile, a bacteria so powerful only bleach can kill it. It only could have been from the nurse. The nurse did not have on any gloves or didn't wash her hands. Glover's story is not uncommon. The superbug spores are sticky and lurk on hospital floors, bed rails, and doorknobs without patients and hospital staff ever knowing. Nationwide, C. diff infections are on the rise. So over the past um, decade, the incidence actually has, has doubled. Very dangerous, very deadly. One easy way to prevent it, hand washing. But one study of eight U.S. hospitals found that on average, healthcare workers wash their hands less than half the time. Here at Beth Israel Hospital in New York, staff said they were cleaning rooms and washing their hands, but it wasn't enough. And then a breakthrough, a low-tech tool to combat the wily germ, peer pressure, just like in high school. In just one year, C. diff infections have been cut in half. Hall monitors are charged with identifying up to 20 potential offenders a week. And when they do, they don't hold back. Sarah, I noticed that you walked out of the patient in room eight with that um, container. And I, I didn't see you wiping it down. Did you wipe it down? The threat works. Virtually no one gets caught a second time, and hand washing here has increased to 95%. So you use this glow germ powder to teach hand washing to all of the staff? Yes. Let's see how you did. No, oh, wait a second. Oh, there we go. It. And it's not all sticks. So there are carrots, too. Rewards for those who follow these simple procedures to wipe off and wipe out the superbug. You get a little gold star, and you get a coupon for Starbucks. There's proof that these low-tech tools are working not just here, but around the country. The University of Pittsburgh has cut C. diff infections by 78 percent, and a group of hospitals in New York have reduced their infections by a third. Diane, this is evidence that it doesn't take big money to have big impact. For all of us, a coffee coupon and the threat of the principal's office That's still all it took. works. This is great.